do good so far. To do what? And, the, and the, see, the crazy part about it is anybody that knows Hassan Campbell, that knows me in real life, know that Five Guard or any other nigga wouldn't tell me to suck his dick in my face. Five Guard would not tell me that in my face. He wasn't saying that to you, man. He would not. But the fact that he even said that, why would you say that to your brother? Your bro no, I'm not his brother. Uh -oh. The only thing niggas give a fuck about is using me for what the fuck they can get from me. And after that, he said it clear in his fucking video. Oh, y'all niggas is gonna fail. Fail how? This whole time I've been live, all you see is donations running through my motherfucking screen. But you could, fail out. You can call them. You can call them. That's how you fail it, man. It don't matter the money if you ain't got your friends, man. Motherfuckers love me. And this is why niggas fucking hate me. Fake. How could I be the fake when I'm doing the realest shit that ever happened? The realest shit that ever happened to you, Five Guard, came from me. Oh. How the fuck am I fake? Nah, I don't diss them, bro. Cause I don't like the fact that you old niggas keep acting like y'all fucking young boys. See, one thing about her son Campbell, nobody don't have to keep fucking telling me to act my age or to keep asking me what age I am because I keep trying to blend in with little niggas. Oh, that's a cat. You know why? Cause when I go outside and shit get real, I suck it. You know what's so wild? My fucking gun goes off. What's so wild is that. Oh, man. There be a chance for, for things. You know, somebody got to be the bigger man sometimes, man. Sometimes you got to be the bigger man. If that's your people and you know you're on your last leg when, when we come down to friends, then sometimes it's better to just take that admonishment, man. He was mad. He said some stuff. You know what I'm saying? I don't think he told you the SMD. You feel me? I heard that part, but I ain't, I ain't hear him say your name involved with that. I think he was just venting. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes that happens, bro. I don't even understand niggas. Never disrespected Five Guard over the fucking internet. And the crazy part about it is, you want to know what's crazy? I just had a video where I broke down and I attacked Jerry, my brother. Even though I took that video down, I attacked Jerry, my brother. I don't love nobody on this fucking earth more than Jerry. And I attacked him for some shit that I shouldn't have. I should have called him on the phone, but didn't attack Five Guard at all. A nigga that I've been helping every fucking day. Every day been helping this nigga. The reason why I say don't say nothing because sometimes you reveal too much when you upset at somebody. You gotta remember things you've been wanting to say start coming out. And then that, you know, make repair impossible. You can't repair things when what well, I know this is what you've been wanting to say. But now you waiting until you mad, now you are smarter. It's kinda of corny. And this is the thanks that I get. I'm called disloyal. I'm called a fucking snake and told to suck a nigga dick. K Flock got a million dollar fucking deal. They've been rocking stages all over this fucking country. Now, one time have y'all seen a fucking video with Five God on the stage with K Flock? But a nigga mad at me? Because I don't like niggas misleading the youth? Uh oh. None of the little niggas that came up, and, I, and, and this, is, this is my response to Five God. It ain't gonna it'll never be a diss. There's no reason to be a diss. Cause if it's gonna be a problem, it's gonna be a problem when we see each other face to face. Cause a nigga never gonna disrespect me in my fucking face and live. I don't give a fuck who you is. Any nigga, when you face to face with me and you decide to tell me to suck your dick, you're gonna have to kill me right then and there. That goes for anybody. Anybody. Face to face, you'll never tell me that. And as far as five guard go, I dare you to show me another nigga to try to help you as much as I did. I dare you. If I never did nothing for you ever again from this day forth, I put all my blood, sweat, and tears into making you a household name. And I did that. 
What you do with it is what you do with it. I already did it. So the real shit that I did for Five Guard, you can't take that back. You can't take that back. It's done already. Figure out what that is outside of putting your name in the song. Five Guard already has no. It seems like Five Guard is disgruntled about his career. He sounds like a conscious drill rapper, but no one is listening. Meanwhile, K Flock is taking off. You know what? At the end of the day, Five Guard is a talented, <laughs> talented dude. One of my favorite rappers. And I, I have so much hope for him as a rapper because there's so much music that he didn't make. There's so much music that y'all didn't hear. But here's the reality. I sit back and I'm watching these niggas. Everybody's on their own page. For now on, if niggas ain't, uh, 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 ain't, 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 ain't fucking with me, don't fuck with me. I don't care who you are. I'm not begging nobody to fuck with me. But what I don't like is, I don't like bringing a nigga like Five Guard to my house and my kids is looking at him as an uncle and then they see a video with a nigga telling me to suck his dick. How does that play out? See, one thing about it is, like, I don't know where Five Guard lives at. So the love was one side. I've never been to his house. He's never brought me to his house. I don't know where his baby mother live at or his new girl live at or this one live at or that one. I brought that nigga into my whole world where he kept me at arm's distance. Mm. I showed that nigga I was more real than what he was. I didn't hide secrets. The enemy wants to steal and destroy. The enemy wants to divide. You are getting dudes out of the streets and, and back to school. I pray you guys make amends and stick together. Look, listen, let me tell you something, man. I was doing all the sticking that you possibly could do. A song 15 years ago would have turned his TV off. Exactly. Like, I hear Five Guard keep telling niggas outside. Oh, he outside, he outside, he outside. Five Guard, you are outside because... You have not transitioned into being a fucking grown man yet. You are still outside because you're taking pictures.